I hate TAA, specifically anti-aliasing TAA that's forced in games. Most modern games nowadays, they're forcing TAA. Now the problem with TAA on modern games is not only does it look incredibly blurry, but in motion, it actually creates motion blur. It is horrible. There is a whole subreddit based on anti-TAA, but there are a bunch of games nowadays that force it on that won't let you turn it off no matter what you do in a config file. Temporal anti-aliasing is a post-processing tech unique used in computer graphics to reduce anti-aliasing artifacts like jagged edges by combining information from multiple frames. Even in single player games, I'm not the biggest fan of anti-aliasing. Now the problem is a lot of modern games now, they kind of rely on TAA to hide certain textures or artifacts in that game engine that they sort of can't be bothered to code out or clean up. If you'd like your BIOS, Windows, PC, Game Fresh, tuned and optimized, check out my PC service. All links can be found in the description below. Just check link three. Now I did a video on this uh, not too long ago, but I actually have a new method that I came up with very similar to the DLSS script. This video right here on the GitHub. So this is all the old method. There's also a new easy method, new easy method. So one script to do it all. You can choose DLSS three or four which actually uses a custom dev file. No need to modify or replace game files because that was the old method and it will work with any cheat or any game that has a file protection system. Quite a while ago, I was testing this on the finals, uh, the manual method, and I couldn't get it to work at all because the game had a file protection system. So this method actually works, which is great. Now the finals have added anti-aliasing option in the game, which is great news, but I'm going to showcase using this method here for in the future, if you ever want to disable TAA for any of your single player games or multiplayer games or games that actually don't let you, at least we have an option here. And this option is much better. And really quickly, I want to give a shout out to Hybrid. And he's also got some really cool uh, tutorials on um, Nexus mods and, and mods on Nexus mods. I also want to give a shout out to the YouTuber called Threat Interactive. He's really only one of the YouTubers out there who is actually standing up for gamers and complaining about modern optimization in games and the plague of TAA in the era of 2025. So go check him out. So grab the script as always, go to Linktree. In Linktree, scroll down to GitHub, go to GitHub. In GitHub, disable anti-aliasing, click on new easy method, click on disable TAA with DLSS. Um, I want you to click up here and go download raw file. Make sure this is actually turned on so you can run PowerShell scripts. I want you to right click the file, go to properties and then unblock the file here, press apply and then okay. And then we are good to run it. So let's run the script now. Now I do recommend using DLSS4. We'll press number two and then press enter. So I would want you guys to use option number three. And now we actually want to disable TAA. It'll import the Nvidia profile inspector, which will apply and force the driver to use the latest DLSS version and also force a certain preset for DLSS and also make sure that DLSS is always using DLAA. So one to one pixels, native resolution. We need to open the folder with the highest number. So this is the highest number. Go to files, so click on that, the bin, and then press open. What you're gonna do is it's gonna back up that file for us and then it's actually going to swap um, that original file and rename that original file to the same name. So when we go into a game and turn on DLSS, it's actually going to use the DLAA DLSS anti TAA dev file. All right, Battlefield 2042, another game that's a perfect example of game developers forcing on TAA and you actually can't disable it at all. The only option we get is to change the quality of TAA, which is no good. We want to fix that completely. So we're playing on 4K low settings i'm getting average of 260 fps with my current hardware so we need to go to the options settings and we actually need to turn dlss on for this to work so we'll turn dlss on it shouldn't matter what preset we're on because it'll all the nvidia profile inspector will override it put it on ultra performance now down the very bottom left and it's gonna be really small text so i'll zoom in for the video for you guys we've got jitter debug none we don't want to change that so we press Control, alt and F6 twice until we get jitter debug jitter. And we've lost some frames here. I believe we've gone from 270 to 220. So there is an unfortunately an FPS impact in some games, but it completely disables anti-aliasing. Call of Duty Black Ops 6. This game, just like the other, will force anti-aliasing on. There is no way to turn off TAA anti-aliasing at all. <clears throat> so we do the same thing here. We need to go look for the DLSS option. For this game, it won't matter if we're using the DLSS file. We could use both. But if you're only using the DLSS 3 file, you'll have to do DLAA. So I'm just going to select DLSS as an example and it preset won't matter at all. Go back into the game. 
down the bottom left we've got the little counter so we've lost some frames turning dlss on we went from 250 to 210 that's because we're using dllaa so we've lost some frames there and jitter by jitter control alt f6 twice and now we have no anti-aliasing on at all very very clear the game is much more clearer and surprisingly this game actually doesn't look like it has any glitches or artifacts with anti-aliasing off so i just don't understand why they don't know, let us natively disable it warhammer space marine 2 i wanted to use a single player game as an example because i usually do multiplayer games in low this game we have quite a few settings turned up in 4k and once again we do not have the option to disable anti-aliasing at all we're forced with anti-aliasing and TAA is baked into FSR and TAA is baked into DLSS. So that's kind of annoying. So what kind of frames are we getting? In 4K with a lot of settings turned to ultra, getting about 120 FPS. So we'll go to settings and we'll go turn DLSS on. Apply that. Doesn't matter what preset. Once again, down the bottom left, we have the overlay information now. We can press Control alt f6 twice. And now we'll have no anti-aliasing now unfortunately on some games you guys might not be able to see it too well there is a little bit of a jitter in some game engines but for me i'm only losing 20 fps and it's a much more nicer experience especially in motion and the game looks a lot clearer even on 4k but when this really matters in my opinion disabling taa for 1080p players and 1440p players where taa can really ruin the visual experience um, especially in motion and as far as distances that are blurry can be hard to see on 4k TAA isn't too bad but you still get that motion blur in motion that's completely gone now only losing 10 fps and the game is a lot more crisp so any game that forces it on you'll be able to use this as long as the game has DLSS built into it okay now we're in the finals and the reason why I'm showing you guys this game is for a long time with this game they had forced TAA on okay now you can since a recent update you can disable anti-aliasing you can disable TAA but just to show you guys in the future there will be games where game developers will force TAA on and not give you the choice doing it this way will give you the choice so I wanted to use this game engine specifically because with this game engine when the game developers forced TAA on and even now if you were to swap a custom DLSS file in the game folder the game would not let you select DLSS. It had some kind of a file protection method. It would not let you select DLSS at all. It just wouldn't work. It was completely grayed out. So yes, you can disable AA now in the game, but for future and to show you guys in this game for other games that force it, you'll be able to do it with this method, even if the game does have a file protection system on, because this game does have a file protection system on. And I'm going to show you it working because I've never got this to work before. So now we just set a DLSS back in the game. We've got the info down the bottom left. We just need to press Control Alt F6 twice. And now we have anti-aliasing off completely. Now, obviously there would be no point doing it this way in this game, because now the game developers have given us the option to disable it in game. But I just really wanted to showcase this method, this new script method, and changing the actual file in the driver and then getting the driver to use that file because it will bypass the game file protection security systems which as you guys can see it has so there's some really cool examples screw taa i'll see you guys next time